we are here to explain the practical way of neurological aspect that is Glasgow Coma Scheme. It is done to check the conscious level of the patient. So, about the score, uh, in Glasgow Coma Scheme, the maximum score is 50, the minimum score is 3 and the score is never 0. For eye response, the maximum score is 4 and the minimum score is 1. For verbal response, the maximum score is 5 and the minimum score is 1. And for motor response, the maximum score is 6 and the minimum score is 5. Start with the first form that is eye response. Let us see that the first case that is spontaneous eye opening. Here the score is 4. Now the next case. Respond to sound. Pallavi. Pallavi. Here the doctor has Pallavi. called her name and she opens the eyes. So the score is 3. Now the next case. Pressure. The pressure is applied on her fingers and she opens her eyes. The score is 2. The next case. Here. Um, the patient Pallari. shows no response. Pallari. So the score is 1. Now let us see the second form that is verbal response. In that first case, the questions are asked to the patient. What is your name? Pallari. Where are you from? Okay. Here the right answer is given and so the score is 5. Now the next case, here the questions are asked to the patient. What is your name? Here the patient is confused. So the score is 4. Now the next case, the questions are asked to the patient. Where are you? Here the inappropriate answer is given by the patient. So the score is 3. Now the next case. Here again the questions are asked to the patient. What is your name? What is your name? Three. Here the patient gives answer in inappropriate sound. So the score is 2. Now the next case. What is your name? No response given by the patient. So the score is 1. Now we will see about the third form that is motor response. In this the patient obeys the commands of doctor. Raise your hands. Show your tongue. So here we have seen that the patient obeys all the commands of doctor. So the score is 6. Now the doctor pinches a trapezius and the patient localizes the pain. So the score is 5. Both grade 4 and grade 3 flexion of arm is done by patient after pinching of trapezium. But the pattern of flexion is different. In grade 4, it is normal flexion, whereas in grade 3, it is abnormal flexion. This is normal flexion and this is abnormal flexion. In grade 4, when doctor pinches a trapezium, patient cannot reach up to painful stimuli. And also patient cannot remove the painful stimuli. But patient tries to go away from painful stimuli by only some degree of flexion of arm. Now we have to decide whether it is normal flexion of grade 4 or it is abnormal flexion of grade 3. We have to give peripheral stimulus like pinching at nail it is an additional test. If patient takes his hand away from the pain it is grade 4. If patient do not take his hand Away from the pain, then it is grade 3. Doctor pinches a trapezius and abnormal flexion is seen. That is, hand is brought across the body. So, the score is 3. Now, the doctor pinches a trapezius and extension of the hand is seen. That is, that too in abnormal way. So, the score is 2. The last case, the doctor pinches a trapezius, but no response of patient is seen. So, the score is 1. 
these are all about the motor response but in case if the patient do not respond at trapezius the doctor will apply pressure on supra orbital notch and now same type of responses are seen so this was all about glasgow coma scale we have seen that the total score was 15 if we find that the score is uh, 8 or less than 8 then the patient is in comatose condition if the score is 3 then the patient is in deep coma and this is very important thing that the score is never zero thank, thank you, you.